So hi, my name is Mario and four years ago when I was in my last year of high school, I made this video. I was a high school student that watched loads of YouTube and my favorite creators all had one sponsor in common. Brilliant, 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 who are coincidentally very kindly sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a fantastic online platform with courses in maths, science, and computer science. Brilliant is a learning platform that keeps the principle of active learning at the forefront of everything they do. Brilliant is a website and app that teaches you STEM concepts in an interactive way. They convinced me to give it a go and I decided to share my experience completing a few courses including the astrophysics course that they used to have back in the day, comparing it to my high school subjects like physics and maths. It is now four years later and I'm in my final year of college studying physics and astrophysics at Trinity College Dublin. So yeah, time flies, it's insane. I also did say one more thing in that video, but if this video ends up doing really well, you know that I am up to it, brilliant. So, you know, you contact me, I contact you. So well, it turns out that this video did pretty well. It's by far my most viewed video. It's not even close to the second one. Since it's been a few years, I wanted to make a video sharing how I currently use Brilliant now that the platform has significantly evolved as well as my interests really, becoming more computational focused. And most of my time is now spent coding on Python for my astrophysics thesis. So this video, unlike the original, is actually sponsored by Brilliant. In case you didn't watch my last video, I am currently full-time working on my final year astrophysics thesis. Feel free to check out that video, but in short, I am doing loads of coding on Python. That's my whole day. And also at the moment, I am applying for a master's because this is my final year and I want to do a one-year master's. And I am leaning more towards AI, uh, machine learning, kind of data science. Although I have studied physics and astrophysics, I am leaning more towards that, which is still possible. It's meant for people that have studied maths and physics. Therefore, I wanted to take the chance to explore two courses in Brilliant that have something to do with coding on Python and artificial intelligence. They were in my list for a while, but I actually finally got time to work on it because I'm always like, yeah, later. So the first one is thinking in Python, which is uh, gonna be great for me to realize the main concepts of the programming language uh, that I use every day. The only one that I fully learned really. So yeah, basically like go over the concepts and make sure that I know like the basics and hopefully it helps me with anything related to Python in the future. And then I also decided to do the how AI works course uh, this has been in my list for a while. It's like a whole introduction of artificial intelligence, uh, classical machine learning, and modern deep learning. As I want to apply for a master's related to this, I have already done a few courses and projects, uh, so I already know a bit about this, but still, I thought it would be great to like see how it would be presented in a more like interactive and you can play around and actually see what things are happening. So I was like really, really hyped to do this one. So first, I decided to complete the Thinking in Python course. This was a very different introduction to the usual example of the hello world and just printing that. And so this actually gets further into it and like very specific into a case of like having a username and password and like kind of tweaking things and playing around with it. So it feels refreshing to see it this way. Like it's not the same approach that everyone uses for learning Python for the first steps. It's just completely different, like a case study. They are great as first steps to learn Python. It feels like not overwhelming and also like quite refreshing for me as well that I've seen like loads of different courses and they all start with the same example. And it's like, oh my God, here we go again. So I myself took loads of time to actually properly learn how to code on Python. Uh, I remember when I was little in high school, I didn't do computer science. I don't even know why I didn't do it. I kind of regret now, but I was bored during the summer and I was like, okay, let's learn some Python. And I tried to learn some stuff and I always like kind of stopped at some point because it became like too difficult. There wasn't any guidance. There was no walkthrough really. I wasn't able to translate my thoughts into real code, which is the most important thing. So the course covers variables, strings, lists, conditionals, if, elif, else, like different situations, if something happens, then this, if not, then this, uh, if this other condition happens, do this thing, Boolean logic, which is like true or false, and then for loops and while loops, uh, they are like other kind of like way of doing recurring algorithms, basically. You can literally code on the spot and see whether you think it's right or wrong, and you get an explanation right away, and it's like, oh, okay, and you can actually do different approaches uh, and get the thing right as well, so you learn a bit about that. After confirming that, after after countless years, I've actually finally learned some Python coding. <laughs> I actually never thought this day would arrive. I never thought I would be saying this. So I then decided to dive into the How AI Works course. 
This course is meant for literally anyone. You don't even need to have any coding or math background. You get to explore the original purpose of AI for predicting the next word in a sentence. I'm an expert. And then obviously it was used for uh, images, so for like identifying digits, kind of classifying faces, identifying how happy someone is. You get to see literally all of this without having to do any real programming. It's all like very interactive, just like clicking something and you see how the thing goes through the layers and how the image is compressed and how the different features are taken. It covers the reasoning behind gradient descent, which is like the main mathematical thing that basically tries to like reduce the loss, which is kind of the error of the model. That's the way you can train it. You can reduce the loss, you can make it more accurate, you can make it more precise. And even at the end, you get the chance of building your own small large language model, like a small chat GPT kind of. So personally, for the last year, I've tried to learn artificial intelligence uh, in many ways. I've done lots of stuff, projects, courses, competitions, trying to get involved into different things. At the same time that I'm doing my bachelor's degree in physics and astrophysics, uh, and yeah, Brilliant has been great in kind of fueling my passion to build that kind of curiosity to dive deeper later on. I'm looking forward to doing a few other more they have. They have one on an introduction to neural networks. Then they also have a few on data science, like clustering and classification. But I guess we will see uh, if next year I end up doing a master's in anything to do with artificial intelligence, uh, with computer science and statistics. If you want to know how it ends up, then follow the channel. I will be making a video about my applications and everything. But meanwhile, I will continue learning more just because I actually like to. Uh, and yeah, so it's gonna be great using Brilliant and other resources to push myself and learn new things. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. I need to go back into working on my final year project. But if you want to try Brilliant and support me and this channel, then you can scan the QR code showing up on the screen or go to the link down in the description below and that will get you a 20% off the annual premium subscription. So thanks to Brilliant for supporting the channel and to you for watching the video. Do let me know if you have any ideas for videos that you want to see in this channel. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.